St. Fabian's Church in Hattiesburg celebrated the 10th anniversary of their very first mass. Prior to opening in 2014, the church had been in the works for around 40 years, now boasting nearly 1,000 members. RJ Harrison has more. It's been 10 years since members of St. Fabian's Church gathered for their first mass at the Lake Serene Clubhouse. The parish now sitting at around 1,000 members, proving that it's not all about where you start. We started off we're at Benedict Day School for the first six years, and then uh, in 2019 we built this very first building, and we've grown and grown ever since. Prior to its opening, plans for the church had been in the works for 40 years, clergy members noticing the growth within Lamar County. Its current home, a gift from local resident Richard Fabian McCarthy, after whom the church is named. We had received property from Richard Fabian McCarthy, hence it's called St. Fabian's. Uh, we received 25 acres as a gift, and the bishop at the time was Bishop Roger Moore, and he's now deceased, and he decided it was time to have a church in the west side of Hattiesburg. Today's Mass spent not only recognizing and worshiping God, but shining a light on those who've been there from the beginning, like Joseph Thresh, who, alongside his wife Haley, were the first couple to be married at St. Fabian's. I was a cradle Catholic, so I went to, to uh, Sacred Heart downtown, and then I went to St. Thomas for a long time. And then uh, when we heard about St. Fabian, obviously we were thrilled, because we live out here. I mean, I live probably a mile from, from the building. Thrash says he's noticed a rapid growth over the years, but still feels a strong sense of community. When you're there every Sunday, you don't see it as much. And then when someone takes stock of it and says, you know, everyone stand up that was at the first mass, everyone stand up, and then you see, and it's just, it's just, it's overwhelming in a great way. Father Tommy Conway says there's plans to continue the church's expansion, particularly for their youth. Next will be classrooms and offices for, classrooms for faith formation, and then some offices as well. In Hattiesburg, I'm Jay Harrison, WDAM 7, on your side. And Father Conway says the expansion will require around a million more dollars to complete. He says the work should be done in about a year.